new extended scale. You can start on E5, that's on the B string. It's the same exact note as your open high E. You'll do down two, up on one. So instead of up, down, it's down, up. And you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, four. And then do it in the minor. Whoops. I'm rushing this a little bit. You can slow it down and do each note four times or each note twice. Continue to do your major pentatonics. Today we added G, so G goes O, two, four, three, five, three. You can see I shifted to my first finger. And I wrote that down in the tab. You can do each note twice, and then in the G minor it goes O, three, one, three, one, three. Hey, Bob Wallace, welcome back, sir. Come on in. Three, one, three, one, three, oh. Okay, for your chord cycles, we added the three finger G. So you take a C, shift those two up, add the pinky as an afterthought. So practice just moving those two fingers in unison and then adding the pinky at the end. And if you can, you want to do C, F, C, G3 in that order until it's smooth. Your D um, is good, but needs more work. So C add nine, when you go to D, ring finger's common. Try just working C add nine and D back and forth a bunch. Okay, um, then I showed you how to play a power chord scale. So in, in E, you can start with your, um, well, you start with your first finger and go E, F sharp. I'm following the major scale, but you could also do it with the minor scale. I'm not gonna do the way down, but you can. You can do the same thing in A. I'll do the minor scale here. scale um, and that's to be applied to your new song and your new song is like this it's a C major 7 it's a two note C chord and it goes Very slowly, of course, and use your tab. Have fun, man.